Hello there guys and welcome to this Navigraph tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you the basics of using Navigraph along with the moving maps for X-Plane 11. So without further ado, let us begin. Navigraph Charts user interface is quite intuitive and easy to follow. On the left top corner here, we have flights, airports, and search. Flights is where you can create a flight with a departure, destination, and alternate airports. It will also provide you with easy access to the airport charts, as well as the ability to analyze the flight route. Airports is where you can search for an airport uh, charts uh, by an ICO code IATA city airport name or country. The search feature allows you to search for any specific airport, airway, nav ID, waypoint, airspace, FIRs uh, or UIRs as well as holding points. On the right side of the user interface you can toggle um, high and low airways as well as change the color scheme from day to night. This button here connects to the moving maps. It connects to the simulator to, your, to the moving maps. And it works for P3D as well as X-Plane 11. We are going to be uh, using X-Plane 11 to simulate this later in the video. The settings uh, button will provide you with the account information as well as the software version and the current index. Let us begin by taking a look at the search feature. The search feature is a very useful feature as it allows you to filter by the type of component that you're looking for. Um, for example, let's say that we are looking for the um, Kilo Foxtrot Romeo VOR station. This is the Wafra station south of Kuwait. So I'm going to write Kilo Foxtrot Romeo and we're going to select Nav IDs, click on search, and now we have the Wafra VOR station listed here which is the um, uh, VR station of interest. As you can see, there's now a pin drop on the map. And if we zoom in, as you can see here, now this is the Wafra VOR station. You will get uh, some relevant information about this VOR station as well right here. The airports uh, feature is a solo search, if you will. It provides you with a wealth of information regarding your airports including your SID stars, approach plates, and tax information. Let's take an example here, San Francisco Airport, for example. And as you can see here, we have all the stars. We have all the approach plates for all available runways, taxi information, including the airport diagram, as well as our SIDs. The flights feature is probably the most useful in Navigraph charts. So let's go ahead and create a flight. We're going to call this a test flight. And the route we're going to grab from um, Route Finder. So we have uh, a flight route here from Dusseldorf to Frankfurt. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to head back to Navigraph Charts and we're going to paste it here. Now, once you move the focus of the mouse to a different window, it's going to validate this route and tell you if there are any errors and it will also populate the departure and destination airports. So no error found, this route is valid and the, as you can see the depart, departure and destination um, airport codes have been filled in automatically. Now for the alternate we're going to select Echo Delta Delta Kilo and we're going to say save. All right, so now we have the test flight here. And as you can see, when you click on the test flight, it will show you the actual route on the airways. And this is our um, departure airport. The dotted line is your SID. This is the um, airway, which is uh, Tango 150. And then this is your, um, basically your star into, um, uh, into Frankfurt. So if we click here, as you can see now, it has highlighted this particular airway and it will also give you all the information. So this is 
a fix from Charlie Oscar Lima to uh, Romeo Oscar Lima India Sierra. It will give you the magnetic variation, the longitude and latitude, and it will also give you the distance. You can also click here on a call, which is the, uh, the end of our SID and Rollis, which is the beginning of our star into Frankfurt. Now, what I really like about this is you have the charts handy for all the airports that we've selected right down here. So we have Dusseldorf. If I click on view charts, then I have all the charts for Dusseldorf here and I can cycle through the star, uh, the approach, taxi information, and SID. We are going to be using the um, SID, I think this one here, we're gonna be using this one for our um, test flight later on in X-Plane 11. And also, we can, we, have, we can download, if the charts are not available, you can download them automatically here for Frankfurt and this is our alternate airport, um, and again, the charts aren't available, so we can download them. So as you can see, this really makes things very, very easy for you, and it provides you with all the information that you need at your fingertips. Now that we have a basic understanding of how to use Navigraph charts, let's take a look at how to configure SimLink to enable moving maps in X-Plane 11. Just a quick note, SimLink is not a separate download. It is bundled with Navigraph charts. So I will provide you with a link to uh, Navigraph charts uh, beta and uh, you just simply need to follow the installation instructions. All right, so let's uh, find uh, SimLink here on the PC. As you can see, this is Navigraph SimLink and it is already running on my PC. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna right click on the SimLink icon and we're gonna click on plugin settings. I'm gonna say yes, and as you can see, the only thing that you need to do is you need to click on this box here and select the default location of your X-Plane 11 installation. Once you do that, it will automatically install the required files into X, your X-Plane 11 installation, and then you're ready to go. All right, so now it's time for us to launch the sim and take a look at the moving maps. I've loaded the aircraft at Dusseldorf Airport, runway 05 right, and if we look here at our charts, uh, this is uh, the Cola uh, SID out of uh, Dusseldorf, and if we look here at runway 5 right, we have the Col 3 Zulu uh, departure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select the departure, enter, and as you can see we have the Col 3 Zulu and we're gonna select that one and enter and we're gonna load it all right so now we have the uh, the departure let me see here there we go and as you can see it corresponds to whatever we see here in the chart okay so this is the BAM uh, VOR and as you can see we have it here uh, as well so let's go ahead now and depart and but before we do so, we want to connect Navigraph to the sim. And to do this, we're going to come over here and we're going to click this little guy now. As you can see, we are now connected to X-Plane 11 and this uh, pink arrow is the aircraft. So we are now runway 5 right, we're ready for departure. So let's go ahead and put the mixture on rich and I'll leave everything else as it is. We're gonna monitor the map here as we move. So let's release the parking brake and let's go. Looks like there is uh, heavy rain here at uh, Dusseldorf. and we're coming up to 60 knots rotate as you can see now the aircraft is moving on the map <clears throat> all right here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and engage the autopilot 
and I'm going to click on GPS and we'll go to nav. And now the aircraft should fly this particular SID. As you can see now, we can see the aircraft moving. And as you can see now, the aircraft is turning on the moving map as well. Works perfectly. Well, folks, this brings us to the conclusion of our video today. I sure do hope that this was a useful and informative video. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. I will provide you with a link to the Navigraph Charts beta program in the description section of the video. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.